Hey, good morning, tasters. We're still in Kuala Lumpur. And loving it. It is day four today of Daily Taste. Yep. It's been a morning already. <laughs> we just got a first sip of coffee. You know Every day goes smoothly. It's more like our travel day. <laughs> a little rough here and there. Oh, it's okay. It's just that um, when you're on the other side of the world, life is lived while you're asleep. Yeah. Uh, your friends and family are back in the U.S. The companies you deal with are back in the U.S. So you wake up and you're just flooded with all this stuff that happened overnight. Good morning. <laughs> which is good and bad. I woke up to tons of birthday wishes, which is fun. Yes. Uh, a great part of travel is the bonus birthday, right, Tim? Absolutely. We're a day ahead. So yesterday here was her birthday, and today it's her birthday back in the U.S. So we get to celebrate two days in a row. Yeah. My birthday got celebrated at the dentist, but we won't go into that. <laughs> okay, well, my birthday today is... My bonus birthday is not going to be doing tons of fun stuff, but it's doing tons of nomad stuff. And I think you might be interested. So I hope you'll follow along. So one of the things we woke up to this morning was um, a letter from the IRS, because that's always fun. So they've been holding our refund since we filed in like February. And uh, they keep saying they need more information, but they don't know what information they need. And so there's nothing we can really do. We sent a, a letter explaining why our income dramatically dropped because we only worked a half of a year and that we moved and all those things. No response from that. So the latest letter is interesting. It's, it, I mean, maybe it's a step in the right direction that doesn't say your return is under review. Yeah, it means I can't find our yeah. stuff. Now they say <sighs> they can't view it on their computer system. We can view it on their computer system. We had to order a transcript from the IRS for one of our credit cards. I guess the IRS can't access their own transcript the way we can. I don't uh, know, it's funny. To okay. the government. <laughs> to the government. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is we had no trouble with our state return. Luckily, because California can be a bit of a stickler when you move out of state and take your income with you and they don't like to let you go. So be sure when you do your Nomad Life uh, that you really establish residency strongly in your new state before yep. you take off. But an income tax free state's a great thing. What okay. else we gotta do today? What else? Well, we heard from Jeremy. Yeah, so our oldest son, we were so excited we were gonna get to meet in Singapore this month because he had a business trip. Yep, so we had tickets and a hotel and a reservation for a Michelin restaurant. We were excited. Yep. And just to see our baby boy. There's yep. No baby, but um, yeah, so we got a message this morning that his business trip got postponed. The good news of it is that we might get to see him in Singapore when we're there in October before we leave on our Trans-Pacific cruise. That might be the, the date lineup. Yeah, that might work out, but. The, ba the bad news is, well, the other good news is, I really, this is something I'm gonna do today anyways, I needed to book flights from Vietnam to Singapore. Uh, I've got to get our Vietnam visas today. We leave in three weeks. Wow. Tiny bit less. So if you've never gotten visas before, it can be a process. It can be a timeline issue. And it can just be a headache. This is why I did not do the visas yesterday on my real birthday here. Because I, <laughs> I was afraid it would wreck it. Sometimes it takes like 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes like, well... Our Bali visas took me three days of yeah. trying to get their system to accept our application. Okay. So anyways, we're gonna work on the visa today in case you've never done that. You might find it interesting. We're just gonna show you snippets of things, but uh, luckily I hadn't booked our flight yet. So I'm gonna contact Air Asia and see if they can possibly switch our tickets to Singapore, uh, you know, to our departure from Vietnam to Singapore instead. Yeah, there you go. What else are we doing? Another no man necessity, you're going hunting again. Oh, dear Lord. So in Asia, you can't really drink the water. You can't drink the water. It's not recommended health-wise, and we have had bad water, and in it's not good. virtually every country. Yeah. So you get to buy a bottle of water. And guess what I get to go do today? Buy a bottle of water, which 
It's kind of heavy to lug around. <laughs> yeah, so the little bottles, you just go through them too fast and, oh my gosh, the plastic waste. Yeah. Mm. This region of the world is simply unbelievable. And almost nowhere do they have recycling bins for it. No. So, um, so we buy the big waters if we're going to be in a place for like a week or longer, like the big multi-gallon tanks. <laughs> so poor Tim, he's going to go haul some back for us. Just remember, you don't have a car to get back from the, the grocery store with it. So you got to load it in the backpack and carry it on your back. You can, well, does that fit on the backpack? Uh-huh. The big three-gallon one? I yep. thought you just carried them in here. Nope. The three-gallon ones, I can fit one of those in there and then carry the, the other one couple of two liter bottles and then carry the other one. So it's always a dilemma too, because of the water and the water's cheap. It's not really a big deal, oh. but the dilemma is you find yourself trying not to drink water because you don't want to have to go all anymore back. But you gotta but drink it. You gotta it's so, hydrated. yeah, so important not to get dehydrated. So always that dilemma. So anyways, we are going to finish our coffee. What do do our do morning our, routine. Our stretching, our growing time, and are we going to the gym today? Good Lord, we might even visit the gym today. We're going to try to start in the gym. You'll see. If there's a picture of it, you'll know we did. If there's not, you'll know we did not. <laughs> and then it's on to some nomad stuff, so we'll record a couple snippets, but mostly, this is our day. After doing all the domestic chores myself for 35 years, well, Okay, some of that time we had a housekeeper to help, and of course we had five kids, so that is some help. And sometimes Tim helped, but now in retirement, he is just in domestic bliss. Oh yeah. You're loving doing all this stuff, huh? I actually am, believe it or not. The mindlessness of it, I love it. Are you saying I have no mind because I've done domestic chores all my life? No, <laughs> not what I'm saying. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> even if your laundry machine has a dryer, which most don't, but even if it does, a lot of times you have to finish it off, kind of, it doesn't totally dry. And we love this clothesline. See how it, like, it's just wrapped and it splits and you stick stuff in it. And uh, you know, you gotta get creative sometimes to fit all your laundry hanging. When going to get water, this becomes your trusty friend, the backpack. All right, let's go. Yeah. Gotta go out there, you know? Gotta make it true. Across town, Monday morning blue. Sound you wake up. All right, so if you're curious on how much water this backpack or how much this backpack can hold, that is a six liter bottle that I carried in my hand. And I got this of milk that we needed, which I don't even know how much milk that is. I got one of those. No, I did not. I got two of those. Bad boys. Now the hardest part about this is just carrying it on your back on the way back. And I've got one. That's 1.5 liters. So that's another 1.5 liters. That's another 1.5 liters. Yes, we do drink this much water. Oh, and one more six liter. So there you go. That's how much we got for a grand total of 53 ringgit or $11. Okay, I'm in Air Asia. You can click on your flight and it says reschedule flight. So we'll see what happens. I have spent another hour trying to figure out how to change my Air Asia flight. <laughs> it's just a, a chat bot. 
there's no way to get to a live person. So I think I'm gonna have to try the phone number I Googled online, but I can't try it until Monday. So I'll look at it on Monday. Okay, I'm getting ready to get my Vietnam visa. So I'm gonna search and I wanna be sure I get the official site. So I'm gonna start at the US Department of State or the embassy, make sure I get the right site. Okay, the State Department site has some good information, travel advisories, alerts, etc. what's required. I'm gonna go clear down under entry, exit, and visa requirements to the e-visa here. And I'm gonna go in through their link to the Vietnam immigration site. There's a lot of fake sites out there, so I just try to be really careful. But you do need to go to the official site to see like what the real requirements are because um, sometimes the State Department isn't 100% up to date. But I don't want the entry, uh, the visa on arrival because we're gonna be there for too long. We're there for basically um, all of September, part of August, part of October, and then we stop back by on a cruise port visit. So I'm just gonna get the longer visa, the e-visa, and go for a longer period. Looks like this is the application form. So I'm gonna have to upload a photograph and a picture of the passport. And because of doing this multiple times, I now save a picture of each of those that has worked in the past. So I don't have to go through and condense it, get it to the right size and the right amount of data size. Okay, I'm looking at the actual application uh -huh. and I do not see anything requiring my ticket information. I don't seem to have to upload a ticket. I read online, you only have to do that if you're staying a short period of time. So. I'm going to try this first because it's the most important thing and we'll see how it goes. So in notes, I have a locked note that has visa stuff. So it has pictures that work best for visas. It also has our passports. So on my Mac, I have to click on each one and then share to photos and then I'll have them all. And then I can go back later and delete all the passport ones off again. And already I have a problem, maximum file size, which I'm using photos that work on all the other visa sites that I've used. So I have to do something about that. Hey, okay, I'm searching Google. I'm gonna try to compress this. I can't remember which one I used before. A free service to reduce it to a specific size. Let's try this. Free size pixel, upload image. There he is. Compress to 10,024 kilobytes. Let's just say 20 to be on the safe side. Hey, it worked. So let's see, go to download, download the image. Okay, here's my image. Okay, hold on, I'll be back. Okay, let's try it again. Dismiss the air code, select, go to the most recent, let me see, yeah. That's the lower kilobyte version. Open. Yay, it worked. Okay, now I'm gonna work on the passport. Let's hope it works. Be sure you put your full name like it is on your passport or you'll have problems. This is interesting. Vietnam makes you put down your religion. So you have to be sure to use the day, then month, then year, and put everything exactly like it appears on your passport. And it says you have to print it out and bring it with you. So we are gonna have to find a place to print some stuff. I'm gonna pop this up here for just a second. You can take a screenshot if you yourself are trying to get photos to work for your visa applications. Someone asked me and I had written this up for them. So um, there it is. I am so glad that we have a good solid Wi-Fi here because I've done this on bad Wi-Fi. And when you have these slow immigration websites and then the Wi-Fi clicks off, it kicks you out and you have to keep trying over and over and you don't know what happened. So this has been going forever, but I have faith. It's eventually gonna go through. The payment went through, it worked. 
shoot. Oh, yay. Click here to query and verify application status. Okay, well, I went back in. Tim said it is still processing. I'm trying to get back to where I can do mine. Sure, it'll take a few days to completely be accepted and um, send the actual e-visa, maybe even a couple weeks, it said. That's why we did it early. So I'll have to keep coming back and checking. Gonna do mine, then I'll be done. The success for me. So interestingly enough, it took me 45 minutes to apply for Tim's and only 20 minutes to apply for mine, including changing the photo. So that's how much faster it goes when you're familiar with it. But as I was reading, it might not come in until 15 business days, which is really cutting it close and uh, quite possibly we leave before that. So cross your fingers. So when Tim went to buy my, my roti shanai, and I didn't have a soup he wanted, so he came home and made ramen for himself. Yep. Yesterday is now today, or is it tomorrow? <laughs> It's, it's a, after midnight. It's after midnight. Uh, talked to some kids, got the good stuff done, um, finalized and uploaded a couple of videos. We're exhausted. It's time to call it a night. Goodbye. Thanks for hanging with us. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Well, really, later today. Yeah, that. My eyes aren't even open. <laughs>